Hi guys and welcome to Games Are Us. In today's episode of Pokemon Planet World, I'm gonna show you how I defeated Sinok Elite 4. Now I wanna show you my Pokemons first. Uh, first is Skarmory and I'm only gonna use it because I wanna lay down some uh, hazards like Stealth Rock and Spikes. Next I've got Garados, it's very important. You can see my setup. Blissey, the most important one is Blissey in this team. And you just have to change the flamethrower. I've got the flamethrower there, but I have to change to toxic. Then I've got um, Gengar. I also have my Star Army, just in case if I need to use another uh, either Psychic or Water Move. And this is not even the proper one because this one has Timid Illuminates. I use this one for different purposes. You should have natural care. And there is Superior, Timid, uh, Contrary. Of course, Skarmory is Impish. Of course, the uh, Gerados is Jolly Moxie. That's what you want. And your um, Attack and Speed Trained. Blissey, HP and Defense, of course. Next we have Gengar which needs to be timid. In my case my Gengar ain't timid. But again it's speed and special attack that has been trained. Uh, Starmie should be timid. Uh, that's why mine is timid as well. It should be natural care if you're using it for fighting. But I'm just using this um, anyhow. And as you can see my first move is to set out my Stealth Rock and Spikes. So I can set up for the rest of the battle. It's gonna make it much easier for me. Um, to be honest with you, all you need really is Gerardo's, Blissey and Gengar probably to win this, but I'm choosing to use all six, just in case I need them. And now as you can see, um, my Skarmor is only already dead. I decided to choose uh, my star me just to sacrifice it so when my Garados comes in I can get plus one attack from Moxie ability and now we've got Mega Heracross which I'm not really worried about and as you can see I've got a little bit lucky here he got flinched by my waterfall so I'm gonna double up with waterfall he missed again this time with the rock blast and this way I'm gonna get plus two attack Moxie comes in again. So as you can see, Gira is sweeping through. My hazard's done. Yet again, more damage to uh, Volcarona. So now it's just a matter of one waterfall to finish him off. So as you can see, uh, Gerardos is sweeping through quite nicely. Again, waterfall's gonna do the trick. They're quite vulnerable to water moves. Even though my Gera now at the moment is burned, it doesn't really change anything at this point. And now I'm going to use an Ice Fang, it's more effective. And to be honest with you, uh, with this at this point when I'm plus 4 attack, it's not really anything that can stop me much at the, at the moment. Now here the last one is a little bit trickier. Um, I might not even survive this to be honest, but I should I think. Depends if I'm gonna. Oh, there you go. I burned anyway, so I'm just gonna use anything. I actually chose Superior, but it, it wasn't probably the best move, as you're gonna see in a moment. But it's gonna do the trick. But anyhow, Aaron is uh, is being defeated. Now, I'm not gonna bore you all the time with my healing Pokemon in between the trainers. So I'm just going to skip all that, cut it all out and go straight to the trainer. But don't forget, don't forget to revive and heal your Pokemon after each trainer. Because I've done this before so many times. I just, just literally forget constantly go, and straight away go, go to the trainer. And then you start fighting and then you realize you only have like two or three Pokemon alive. Uh, so just, just don't, don't do that simple mistake that I do sometimes. Now there we got Bertha. Again, I'm going to set up with my hazards with Skarmory. I'm just going to sacrifice it so I can get my Serperior out. And 
for this trainer in Sinoc Elite 4, this all you need is Serpirio if you have one. If you don't, you could probably use your Blissey to stall it out. Because Blissey technically could probably stall out throughout the whole uh, the whole uh, Elite 4. But I want to do this a bit quicker. I don't want to lose too much time. And I don't want to lose too much time for this video either. So I'm just going to sweep through with my Serpirio. It shouldn't take long. At this point, I'm nearly uh, maxed out with my special attack. Right now, I'm gonna have plus six, or is it plus four at the minute? Yeah, I've got plus four. Sorry, plus six, yeah. And Steelix doesn't have any chance because my hidden power is fire, as the superior hidden fire should be. Now I'm just gonna use Giga Drain simply because I don't have to risk a Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm uh, quite often can miss and I don't want that to happen, I don't want to miss and then by mistake die. So I'm just going to keep using uh, Giga Drain. And that should do the trick at this point, especially that it's quite effective against those Pokemon. So this was nice and easy. Swept through. And yet another trainer is gone. And now we're going to have Fire Pokemon. Therefore I'm going to change my Skarmory to with uh, Garados. Because I'm not going to lay out any hazards in this battle. Because Skarmory won't even get a chance. He'll just die. So I'm going to set out with Gerardos and use Earthquake. And just get rid of Houndoom quickly. Now I've got, jo uh, now I've got the Moxie ability kicking in again. So I've got plus one attack. There goes the Charizard now. And the sun shines brightly. That's why you got to be careful. The water moves is not going to be as effective. That's why I've got Gerardos out. Because... All I'm going to do is use my Earthquake mainly on most of the um, Pokemon right now. I mean, I'm going to use the um, Waterfall on Charizard. It's quite effective against it and it quite often flinches. And as you can see, it flinched once and it gave me opportunity to kill him. Yet another plus one attack from Moxie ability. And now we've got... Um, now I've got Arcanine which can be dif difficult to defeat, but Earthquake is quite good. And at this point, with this much attack, uh, Arcanine shouldn't be a problem. As you can see, I just uh, used one hit. Same thing goes for Magmatore. I wouldn't use my uh, Waterfall, that's why I use Earthquake. And again, just swept through him, as it's nothing, without even using a Water uh, move Moves. Again, I'm gonna do Earthquake, because the sun still shines brightly. So Earthquake will be the most effective move and this time, at this point, with this much attack I'm just gonna go for a Waterfall because Earthquake wouldn't be effective on the flying type. There we go, Flint is gone. So, next up we're gonna have Psychic uh, Pokemon to defeat. Here is Lucian and this can be quite tricky. I'm still going to try to, uh, this, I made a big mistake here, so do not repeat my mistake. I got my Skarmory out, and the Espeon will literally bounce every move of mine that I make. So instead of laying down uh, Stealth Rod and laying down Spikes, he's bouncing that towards the advantage and he's actually laying it for himself. So don't do that, just get your Blissey out straight away. As you noticed before, my Blissey is not even 100th level yet. It's only 95th level and it doesn't even matter uh, to any of this. I made a mistake. Blissey should be out first. Straight away, get your evasion. Every time you use your Blissey, get your evasion to maximum. Make sure your evasion is to maximum. Even if you only have Blissey, you don't have other Pokemon like mine and you're using Blissey from the beginning, you can pretty much stall most of them with Blissey. Just make sure you get your evasion maxed out with Minimize. And as soon as you get near 50, 60%, 70% HP, keep using soft boil egg, soft boil, so you can keep heal yourself, get your evasion out to maximum, and they won't be able to hit you. Every now and then they might. And as you can see, I made another mistake, tried to use poison, and he just reflected that towards me, and now I'm poisoned instead of him. So what you gotta do is get your evasion to maximum, and then just seismic toss out of uh, the hell out of him. And just keep using the seismic toss until Espeon is gone. 
because otherwise you're going to see what's going to happen i made a bit of a mess of this particular trainer lucian and i'm going to lose much more pokemon than i would like i'm going to have to sacrifice some pokemon just to set myself up for the rest of the battle uh, and as you will see in a moment i'm nearly gonna die but still like i mentioned all you gotta do is start with blissey maxed out your evasion and keep seismic toss out of the uh, espion and once he's gone you can use um, toxic and then seismic toss against other pokemon and it should be as easy as but as you can see i'm continuing to make a mess of things i should be bringing out my superior already but instead i brought my blissey again and uh, that was a mistake and now as you see i brought out my star meow which will finish off the espion but again i messed things up because superior right at this point would kill espion would add plus two special attack to him and would be set up for the rest of him instead and uh, now i'm gonna well i'm gonna damage some some of the uh i'm gonna take some of his his hp but if that was superior it would probably be much easier you can use, also use Gengar just to use destiny bond on him and to, just to get rid of him and then life gets a bit easier but I keep losing Pokemon, way too many Pokemon wasted in this battle. This is not how it's done, uh, funny enough. So basically I've got two Pokemon left and he's got still five. But now as you can see my superior has managed to set him up a little bit. I've got my plus two special attack. Um, I'm gonna again go for Leaf Storm. Leftovers keep trying to heal me. I'm, as you can see, I'm losing leftovers here and there. I've got some of the toys on my Pokemon. Uh, simply to make it a little bit easier. I Giga Drain him once because I needed some HP. And now I'm going to finish him off with a Leaf Storm. Now my special attack is maxed out. My next opponent is Steel. So I can use my Hidden Power Fire. With ease, I can just get rid of uh, the Metagross. I'm just gonna go for Leaf Storm this time or even the Giga Drain just to get my HP up and then finish it off with the um, with Giga Drain again just so uh, I've got some HP back before I have to face off Mew. Now Mew doesn't seem that scary right at this point uh, because simply with plus 6 special attack even the Giga Drain nearly killed him. So I'm gonna do the same thing again top up my HP so I don't have to waste too many uh, potions to top up and there it is Lucian is gone now all we got left is Cynthia and hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem but yet this is quite a tricky opponent um, I'm choosing to use my Skarmory again just to lay out my hazards again spikes the um, stealth rock it will make life easier in this battle in the long run. Uh, at some point here during this video now, because I'm gonna start stalling, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use my uh, Blissey, as you can as you can call it, in, in a full stall mode, in a full wall stall mode. Uh, simply because it's gonna be the easiest thing to do for me to make sure that this. Uh, battle is won without even have to use anybody else or risk anybody else so again i'm gonna raise my evasion by minimizing three times uh blissey so the evasion is plus six as you can see i skipped all the uh, boring details and now uh, toxic obviously will fail against fortress so don't bother using toxic just use um, seismic toss until it's gone until it's finished with. Obviously this is the slower version uh, to do these things, but next we're gonna have Clefable. Again, I'm gonna use Toxic this time, simply because I know Toxic is gonna be effective. 
and I'm gonna uh, from that point I'm just gonna keep using the seismic toss and stall it out until uh, until I'm gonna kill it I'm gonna skip the boring details again and skip the video a little bit forward there you go to the point where I stalled it out <laughs> until the clef is gone and now we've got Mega Garchomp which um, it's quite actually simple for uh, for Blissey to deal with, especially with the already got damage with my spikes and sterile frogs. Uh, all you gotta do is use toxic and seismic toss again until and obviously in the meantime you keep have to use your soft boil to keep heal yourself every time you nearly 50% down to your uh, health. Keep keep uh, keep heal yourself. Keep using seismic toss every now and then. And the Mega Garchomp is gone. Now we got Militich. Same thing, same thing again. If you can, if you can, straight away try to use your Toxic. Because if you fail, he's gonna burn. And once he's got burn, you can't use Toxic. But even in this situation, just keep kill yourself and keep using Seismic Toss. When you have plus 6 evasion, they'll be keep missing you. They were only gonna hit you every now and then. So I don't see any other simpler way to finish them off. It can be a little bit long, but at the end of the day, when you're doing this for the first time and you wanna make sure you finish, this is it. This is a 95th level Blissey. It's not even a hundred level yet. And he's dealing with them like it's nothing. So just, just make sure you got your Blissey and you should be fine and the Gerardos and maybe um, you don't have to have Skarmory to use as a hazard setter you can use a Ferrofall maybe it's quite easy to get an accessible chance chance you can even roll you don't have to try to catch it it needs to be bold natural care and you have to train HP and defense and there we go we're fighting Mewtwo one of the, the strongest Pokemon available out there and yet he's struggling he cannot do anything against my uh, Blissey I'm keep stalling keep using my uh, poison and keep using my seismic toss and eventually slowly I tire it out this is it I finished it you can see up here champion 4 achievement done Sinok defeated so I hope this was very helpful for you and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and you like more videos like this so thank you and take care.